Welcome to Leicester, part five, Leicester city centre. Um, it's filming outside a Tesco Express, but there is a good reason. We're actually stood on former Great Central Railway land here, believe it or not. This is Bede Park, Bede Park, I don't know how you pronounce it, it's probably Bede Park isn't it? Um, but that building there is now a Tesco Express. Now that, I do believe, is the last remaining building from the goods shed in this location, from the goods yard. Goods yard yeah. What is it again? It's it the generator and hydraulic powerhouse. <laughs> so, yeah doing well for itself now as a, as a Tesco. The area that we're now stood, called Bede Island, contained a goods yard, carriage and engine sheds, amongst other things, and a scrap yard as recently as the 1990s. Our sole surviving building from this location can be seen on this map from the early 20th century. Even more amazing, this old photograph from 1962. And this is labelled Braunston Gate Goods Yard, and we can see our Tesco Express building on the right hand side there. The day's uh, filming suddenly taking a very urban feel. Look at that, an old little, a random little arch. Obviously, a doorway, wasn't it? That. I can't get my head around the amount of evidence of GCR ruins in and around the Leicester city centre area. There's so much I'm not covering here that I'd easily make several more videos. Some of that evidence has only recently been demolished and is captured on Google Street View. The Great Central Railway dissected Leicester raised above the city streets on a 1.5 mile long viaduct containing 97 arches and 16 girder spans. We're going to be seeing some of those remains today. That Tesco Express is just there. This would have been the old Great Central track bed. That's the track bed going off in that direction. We'll see more of that in a moment. So the track bed is just on the left hand side of his ear. So it's walking down a, a path. Modernization on that side. We'll see in a minute what's left on this side. so close here we can virtually touch it can't get up on there though there's thought there was an opening but it's, it's several layers of fences it's probably a good time to come i suspect in the summer you won't get the same view through the trees as you do now So better view now, now it's opened up. I mean, the archways look, it's like there is archways behind here. You can see them sticking out above whatever this building that's been stuck on the side here, look. We, we were just saying, it's great for people like us who, who are interested in this type of thing and find it, you know, have, a, have, a, have an interest, but to the normal person it's just an eyesore isn't it really the footprint that's left in the cities by the remains of things like this I mean I hope they never tear it down but it is a bit of a, a carbuncle in its in its current state you could say and there's the end of that viaduct so this was the location of the bowstring bridge it went off in that direction that side has been redeveloped now look that's modern university buildings quite a contrast to that side of the road that side of the river isn't it 
I just mentioned the bowstring bridge or Braunston Gate Bridge to give it its correct name. The bridge was only demolished in 2009 but not before a lengthy fight to save it by campaigners. It was considered unique by design and weighed over 400 tonnes. It's the other side. It, we're, we're restrained a bit by this work going on here. It's stopping us getting closer than the lights to get to this side of the bridge but you can see, I'll zoom in on a photo for your uh, insulator hunters. There is a full insulator sat up there on um, on an old, looks like an old telegraph bracket. Get a bit of a better view of the archways from this side. We're moving through the city centre, Leicester city centre still. Uh, this is the old Leicester Central railway station. It's good to see it's got a it's got a modern day purpose now, in my opinion. Would have been better as a railway station, but never mind. Yeah, we're talking about the footprint of uh, the Great Central Railway and the impact on the city centre, but modernization all the way around but there's still nods to the old great central line Got a great central pub there this is great central street i mean it does look smart enough these days but only five years ago it looked in a, a much more rundown state great central railway parcels office still got the facade on the side of the station frontage can you see inside, is it, what's it like? Just poke the camera inside, so you can still see the old buildings and such. I don't know the origins or the date of this old photo, but that's the street where we've just been stood and we can see the front of the station building and also the parcels entrance. And a fantastic shot of the trams going past the front of the station there. So that, was, that, so that was the old parcels office there and we're walking down now what would have been part of the trap bed and we'll see in a minute it was quite a large raised area we'll be able to go and see the other side of the viaducts in a moment so would this have been station at platform side of the station building then what we're looking at here oh. right Obviously, no remains of the station on that side. It's just no. businesses the main, now. The main ticket office and everything was down there. I used to come up on steps. <laughs> Retaining wall on the side. And there's the main station front we've just seen from the other side. Literally, what's left? This rather scruffy corner of this little industrial site, we still see a little bit of platform. See the old paving slabs. Do we a bit of repointing now? A bit of platform edge missing there. It's underneath, so it's steel platform bottom. Now is that part of the? The bridge structure. That's where that little bit of remaining platform ends. Rail down this side and rail down that side. I'd love to know what the platform numbers were with these, but yeah, that's the island island platform, so that's the other side of that one. Uh, there's another one here as well. I'll be able to have a look at the maps when I get home, just to see the layout of the station. All right, yeah. More platforms. So that's four platforms that we've got here then, all yeah. together, two island platforms basically. This map probably gives the best representation of what we were just looking at. So a H-shaped platform set up, flanked by six running lines and bay platforms at either end. So. 
what we've just been looking at would have been the four platform edges we saw just above the All Saints Road Bridge. It's a rather sorry little corner of Leicester, this it has to be said. Well, here's the other side of the, of the viaduct, where you can see just where that white trailer is at the back there, that's the other side. So that's the width of the station at this point. There's the air, that's more redevelopment down there, look. That's a bridge. We can't walk anymore down this side. It's great that those, it's really, really random that those just last little bit of platforms remain there, isn't it? Let's have a look over here. Down to street level. So there's a little legacy of all this remaining, that building there, the Archer's Apartments. Like we've seen with other GCR stations, it opened with the line in 1899, but saw a managed decline until ultimate closure in the late 1960s. Ah, so this is the bridge we've just been stood on. This is exactly above here where those platforms are, aren't they? That's it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because there's a bench you can't go through there. Yeah, right? yeah, some steps there. Oh, where they're going. It's looking up towards the platforms. I wonder if that just goes into the arch, I'm not sure. And this is the other side of the railway station. So it's the adjacent side from the station front. So we've just been stood just there on top of that wall there. At the side of that bridge. No, sorry we haven't, we were stood at that side, weren't we? We couldn't get any further than, than this. They do love the graffiti around here, don't they? So these archways all along. This is a long, long section, this. At one time when the railway was, was in use, this area would have been a little bit more, I don't know, is it safe to say prosperous? And these wouldn't have all been in this dilapidated state. It's quite a run down and grim at the moment. So, different a series of different arches here. We've got a little double arch here, some smaller arches. We've got a lentil across there, and then a completely separate. So, was this this different archway altogether? Is this an entrance or to the railway, perhaps? Go some distance down there. This one looks like Loop City. So that's another type of arch. Again, isn't it? Another different variation all the way down. I never noticed this on the way past. Even the uh, graffiti here is railway related. So just a short hop from the, the Leicester Central Station. And we've got the viaduct again. If we ever look down there, we can't get in unfortunately. It's a shame it's a Sunday. Um, you can see the post there, an old signal left on top of the viaduct, just on the side. And this is the last thing I'm going to show you from Leicester city centre, or from the central Leicester. And this, I believe, is called the last arch. Shame it's daubed in advertising and uh, things now. But just that. No viaduct that side, bridge missing, just a solitary arch.
um, sort of, you know, the rest of it's all been taken out by industry, but this is the last bit of viaduct left, and it's always referred to as the last arch, because there's just one arch left underneath there. More insulators on there as well, if someone's got a ladder and a bit of bravery. One, two, three, four insulators there. So that's the end of part, oh, I want to say part four. Uh, I've lost track of how many videos we've filmed today. Um, the section that we've done on Leicester, the city centre, central-ish of, um, of Leicester. Did I say Leicester enough there? I'm not quite sure. Yeah, say it again. Cool, Leicester. <laughs> anyway, just one more part to show you. Um, bit of goofing around, so we're off up to the Great Central Railway just to finish off uh, at the end of the day. So, we'll see you in the next part.